In this video, we'll be looking at examples of factoring trinomials when a is not one. If you have not viewed the, if you have not done so, view the previous video about factoring trinomials when a was equal to one. Let's begin with this example. Let's say we have three x squared plus nineteen x plus six. Okay. As we stated before, we're going to draw ourselves a little chart. It's just a table. And in this table, we're going to put up top the B term and the bottom A times C. And this A, B, and C is from the form AX squared plus BX plus C. A is the coefficient of our quadratic term, the squared term. B is the coefficient of our x term, our linear term, and c is the constant. So in this case, a is 3, b is 19, c is 6. So in the bottom is a times c. That's going to be 3 times 6, or 18. And I'm going to emphasize the signs here because they'll be very important. b is my coefficient of my linear term, positive 19. All right. Well, we know that we're going to have two parentheses, two binomials multiplied together, and we know to get an x squared, we're going to need an x times x. Well, the question is, what numbers multiply to give this, yet add to give this? So I'm going to think about the paired factors of 18. That's 18 times 1, 9 times 2, or 6 times 3. Since this sign is a plus and this one is as well these two will be pluses because to multiply to give a positive yet add to give a positive we must have two positives thus we're looking for two numbers from this list that will add for 19 they'll all multiply for 18 but who adds for 19 it's going to be 18 and 1 okay so here is 18 here is 1. These numbers will go in this position. Plus 18 and plus 1. Okay. Lastly, we are going to divide by A. Previously, we didn't have to divide by A because A was 1. Dividing by 1 didn't change everything. Now we have a number here other than 1. So dividing by this number 3. Dividing by 3 here and dividing by 3 here. If it will reduce, do so. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So what we have in this first parentheses is that x plus 6. If it's a fraction that will not reduce, we will simply take the denominator and write it as the coefficient of the variable here. So what we have is x plus 6 in the first parentheses and 3x plus 1 in the second parentheses. The numerator stays as the constant. Now let's check to see that this binomial will yield this. x times 3x is 3x squared. 6 times 3x will be 18x. 1 times x will be 1x. 18x and 1x will be 19x. And 6 times 1 is 6. Alright, let's look at another example. Let's say we have 4x squared minus 27x plus 18. We begin with our big X chart. In the bottom is A times C. That's 4 times a positive 18. That will be a plus 72. Again, emphasizing the signs. And the top will be our B term, and that is minus 27. Okay. Two sets of parentheses. X times an X to give the X squared. All right. What numbers multiply to give 72? Well, there's many paired factors. 1 times 72, 2 times 36, 4 times 18, um, 8 times 9, 3 times 24. 
Okay, you can use a calculator to find these factors. The method I use here is what I call a double half method. I doubled one for two, I half seventy two for thirty six. Doubled two for four, I half thirty six for eighteen. Doubled four to eight, half eighteen to nine, three and twenty four I um did did not use the double half method but just knew that three times twenty four is also seventy two. Okay. Now, since this one's a plus and this one's a minus, that lets us know there will be two minuses. That is, in order to multiply to give a positive, yet add to give a negative, we will need two negative signed terms. All right, so the question, which of these paired factors will add for 27? Well, that's 3 and 24. Negative 3 times negative 24 is a positive 27. Negative 3 plus negative 24 is a negative 27. These two will go here. Minus 3 and minus 24. Okay. Lastly, we will divide by our coefficient here, 4. Dividing by 4 here, dividing by 4 here. 3 fourths will not reduce, so I will simply take my denominator and write it as a coefficient. 24 divided by 4, that's 6. You can think of it as 6 over 1, writing the 1 coefficient here. So we're left with 4x minus 3 and x minus 6. 4x times x is 4x squared. Negative 3x and a negative 24x will sum for negative 27x. Negative 3 times negative 6 will be a plus 18. Okay, one final example. Let's say we have 6x squared minus x minus 35. Okay, coming with our big X table. This X has nothing to do with our variable. It's just a way to collect our information. I know we're going to have two binomial factors. And I know that we will need an X times X to yield an X squared. Well, in the bottom is A times C. That is 6 times negative 35. That is negative 210. And the top is B. In this case, we have an implied minus 1. All right. Now, this time, since the bottom term is a negative, we know we have 1 plus and 1 minus. In order to multiply to give a negative, the signs must be different. So we need the factors of 210. And again, there's lots of factors of 210. But I'm going to use this fact that this is a negative 1 as a clue. We're going to be summing these two. So we're summing two things to be negative 1, and they're opposite signs, so they must be 1 apart. I'm looking for factors of 210 that are 1 apart. Well, it's not going to be something like 1 times 210. It's not going to be something like 21 times 10. I'm looking for two numbers that are 1 apart. It turns out to be 14 times 15. 14 times 15 is 210, and you can see they're 1 apart here. So... Since the sum is a negative, we need more negatives. 15 will be the minus, and 14 will be the positive. And this will be among the harder type of examples where you have an A times C term that's, that's so large. So these two will go here, plus 14 and minus 15. Lastly, we will divide by 6. Dividing by 6, dividing by 6. In this case, they both need some reducing. Here, 15 and 6, 3 goes into both of these. 3 goes into 15 5 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times. We will write the 2 as the coefficient. 14 and 6, 2 goes into both of them. 2 goes into 14 7 times, 2 into 6 3 times. The 3 is the coefficient. So. We're left with 3x plus 7 and 2x minus 5. 
3x times 2x is a 6x squared. 3x times minus 5 is a minus 15. 7 times 2 is a plus 14. They sum for minus 1. 7 times minus 5 is a minus 35. You should be able to complete 1.4 at this time.